Today is Mother's Day, and we want to acknowledge all the women we're blessed to know. We rejoice over you, for your strength, your wisdom, your strong love, and your beautiful faith. Whether today is a celebration for you or a day of quiet reflection and healing, we're thinking of all of you. If you gave birth this year to your first child, our joy overflows and we celebrate with you. If you adopted a child this year or became a foster parent, we rejoice with you and we want to honor you in your commitment to changing the lives of children. If you continue to struggle with infertility, we are hoping with you and holding your hand in prayer. If you are exhausted and feeling underappreciated for all you do for a house full of kids, we applaud you. We love you, and we appreciate you more than you can ever imagine. And if you lost a child this year to death or miscarriage, we weep and mourn with you. And if your child is lost to addiction or to the world, we hurt with you, and we join you in putting our hope in the one who brings prodigals home. If you live with painful memories of your mom, we pray that you will find in a spiritual mother all that you never had from a birth mom. And if you're one of those amazing spiritual moms, we thank you for stepping up and being there when others couldn't. If you're experiencing an empty nest for the first time this year, we walk with you in this new season and are excited about the next chapter God has planned for you. If you're single, we celebrate your strength, beauty, and individuality, and join with you in praying for the desires of your heart. If you're a single mom and wonder if you have the physical energy and financial resources to raise and provide for your child or children, we want to help you, and we will. And if you're pregnant for the first time, we prayerfully anticipate with you the joyful birth of a healthy child. And to all the special women on this Mother's Day, rest and delight in knowing that we are thankful for you and we celebrate each and every one of you. Your voice was music the first song that sang me to sleep And your heart was a fire That kept me so warm head to feet The greatest thing on earth Miracle of birth And to have a mother's love Your face had me gazing Way down deep into your eyes And your smile kept me laughing And it made who I was come alive and One thing that I know the best place to cry Is in my mother's arms All that I And I sing her song when she dies It was the healing The healing that made things all better Your hands did the cooking for meals that made me so much bigger And I believe it was you Who skipped a serving or two To make sure your baby grew
your legs did the walking on the aisles looking for you know who and dad mostly dad did the spanking which you hoped you never would do and a part of you died every time that I cried cause the one mostly hurt was you all that I am and I ever hope to be all that my mama she ever told to me to make sure I'm good and to never tell a lie to promise that I sing her song when she dies Your heart did the breaking when you first met the love of my life. But you quickly started smiling when you saw me so proud of my wife. And there's one thing that's true, she reminds me of you. A good mother and wife, oh, all that my mama she ever told to me to make sure I'm good and to never tell a lie to promise that I sing her song when she flies all that I am and I ever hope to be is all that my mama she ever told to me to make sure I'm good and to Happy Mother's Day. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that are out there. Uh, we're blessed today. Gorgeous day. I think temperatures are going to be increasing, and it just looks to be a lovely day. Um, I have a couple announcements for us. Um, the first announcement, uh, we sent out this week, it was a blast, and we also on our, our Facebook page, and uh, if, you, if you didn't see it, I just want to make us aware of this, and I want us to be participating in this. I think this is a good thing as a, as a our near neighborhood we are in. Jenny made me aware of uh, some happenings in the neighborhood, something that was trying to be organized, uh, and it included some of the neighbors on our block uh, on Washington Avenue, and one of them was Pastor Wes Dudley across the street. Uh, I think many of you are all know who Pastor Wes is. And uh, so um, it's a, uh, a ministry, or not a ministry, it's an organization. And uh, uh, this organization, it's Great Leaf Empowerment Center. And uh, there's this Great Leaf Cafe. It's located in downtown Lancaster. Lancaster. <laughs> and uh, the goal of this Great Leaf Empowerment Center uh, is provide culturally sensitive services and resources to immigrant families in Lancaster County. The cafe gives Middle Eastern refugees uh, the opportunity to cook delicious homemade meals to be sold to help support them. Uh, they will be doing neighborhood pop-up at WABC this Wednesday, May 13th from 5 to 7 p.m. If you're interested in purchasing a meal, they prefer orders using one of the, uh, we form there and and or you could check the Facebook page and or the the email. they do take walk-ups uh, it's a, a Syrian lady her name is patience and uh, the menu looks scrumptious uh, there's gonna be a falafel sandwich platter eight dollars chicken shawarma ten dollars and then there's green tea for three dollars uh, again this way uh, from five to seven the food truck I'm not exactly certain where it's going to be at on our premises but I just think it's a great connection to our neighborhood okay that's the first thing and then the second is uh, I was uh, this past week I was uh, on the Washington Avenue community Facebook page and um, uh, I noticed some people really uh, there was a couple people that took note of some bells and uh, 
pots uh, pots, and it happened last Sunday at seven o'clock at night. And uh, Pastor Wes, who again lives across the street from us, uh, he's one of the leaders of the ministerium, and to show support and to celebrate our local medical staff and first responders. They, w- they want people to be banging pots, ringing bells uh, each Sunday evening at 7 p.m. And uh, for us to, uh, to be part of this. And uh, uh, when I was on that Facebook page, I saw a couple people blessed by it. And uh, so here's what we're going to do. Um, if you have a key to the church and if you're close by, uh, I would like for you to contact me. And then uh, if, you, if you're willing to do it, we just need you to ring the bell for five minutes and uh, be praying for our neighborhood and uh, be praying for the medical staff and first responders. Uh, it'll be a blessing. You'll be blessed. So call me, text me, and then if you hear from me, then you're the one that's going to be uh, receiving the blessing in and all through this. All right. All right. I guess that's it. I'll pass it over to you, brother. Let's have a word of prayer, and then we'll continue with our work. Father God, we thank you so much for uh, being with us uh, always, Lord, uh, uh, throughout uh, the social distancing with us uh, when we're at home, uh, when we're out um, uh, about going to work necessarily, uh, either outside of the home or even being at home. We just thank you for with us always and for guiding us, Lord. We thank you for uh, blessing us uh, with the opportunity to be able to worship you in this way. It's a different way uh, for each of us, um, but uh, we thank you so much for the ability to make it happen. Um, We ask that you be with us during this time. Uh, So many of us, uh, a day like today is uh, is a day of uh, blessing, thanksgiving, and rejoicing. Some people might be hurting uh, thinking of a day like today for Mother's Day. Um, Lord, wherever uh, wherever we are this morning, we just ask to be with our hearts, uh, be with our mothers, um, be with them as they uh, spend time with their family um, in what ways they can during this uh, difficult time, and uh, be with all of us as we uh, reflect on uh, the women in our lives that have made a huge impact, that have influenced us, Lord, or... or um, or maybe that uh, this might be a time of reflecting and thinking of how we might, uh, other women out there who weren't impacted by their mothers positively, maybe this is an opportunity for them to think about how they can inf- impact others, Lord. We thank you uh, for your spirit. We thank you for your son. We ask that you send your spirit on us wherever we are time to worship you fully. We love you, and it's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Fails and never gives up, it never runs out on me. 
Your love never fails, never gives up, and never runs out on me. And on and on and on and on it goes Till it overwhelms and satisfies my soul And I'll never ever have to be afraid This one thing remains This one
need a tender. Daily I'm constrained to be. Let the grace Lord like a feather bind my wandering heart to thee. At this time, we're going to uh, take uh, this opportunity to uh, give online or through text giving. Um, on the screen, you should see a provided text number. And also, uh, once again, you can give online at that website right there. Let's take a do that. We ask that you bless this, this offering. May we, each and every one of us, give with a cheerful and grateful heart, Lord. Uh, we thank you for uh, the gifts that you have blessed us with, uh, the gift of our family members, our mothers, wherever they are, um, our spiritual gifts, Lord, um, the possessions that we have. May we uh, use them to glorify you and give back to you in whatever way we can. Um, once again, take this offering and further your kingdom with it in whatever way you see fit. Amen.
sin Oh, bow down before Father, we thank you for the cross. We thank you for the gift of your son and the love that he showed each and every one of us, Lord. How beautiful the story is, the story of you giving up your son for each one of us, doing anything to be able to save us from our sins, Lord. We thank you for, for that love and for sharing that love into our mothers, to our fathers, our sisters, and our brothers, Lord for be giving us that example to live by, Lord. We just ask that you uh, be with us uh, when we uh, uh, turn off our computers or our phones and go back into the world. Help us to remember to share that love with others, Lord. Help us to remember to share that with each other, with our family members, our loved ones, our children, our friends, Lord. We thank you for all that you've given us. It's in your son's name we pray. into this. <clears throat> Let's get into God's word. <clears throat> um, I'm really liking, uh, really enjoying the colors of spring, how they're bursting forth, how they're just popping uh, from the grass to the flowers to the tree, the leaves on the tree. All beautiful. Uh, with it being Mother's Day, uh, there's a beauty day and spring emerging. Plus, Still being in this pandemic, I believe that the Lord has led me to help us to think about the beauty of the Lord, the beauty of the Lord this morning. And um, I rarely, I rarely hear a believer say something about the beauty of the Lord. Uh, whereas we use it so often uh, for many things, right? Uh, we are so used to saying uh, uh, about things, about places, about people that, that they're beautiful. Uh, for example, you know, uh, a, a muscle car, isn't she a beauty? <laughs> uh, or if it's a sunrise or if it's a sunset, how beautiful that is. Uh, or if there's a wedding, uh, don't they look beautiful? Uh, a newborn babe, isn't 
she beautiful? Isn't he beautiful? Uh, and then I was thinking about teens. Uh, do teens use the word beautiful? And I, I have to admit, I struggled. <laughs> and uh, uh, maybe they think, and now it's the trend now with mom jeans. They find mom jeans as beautiful, but they just use a different word. Or if there's this video game that they're so 